hello everyone welcome to the second part of the video on browser commands uh, in this video we will be talking about alternative approach to browser commands now uh, I hope you have gone to the through the first part of the video where we have explained about browser commands and different types of browser commands plus we have given examples of usage of a few browser commands so uh, let us understand what's an alternative approach to the browser commands uh, the alternative approach is the navigation class this is a class which is provided by selenium and uh, is responsible for navigation of uh, navigation of, of different navigation to different pages on the browser and it also provides method uh, to control some of the few uh, so some of the basic browser actions and these are the main methods uh, inside the navigation class which we will be discussing about there are a couple of other methods but those methods uh, are not useful for you uh, they are not useful in, in a day-to-day -day life day-to-day -day life of a tester but those are useful in, in during the advanced coding uh, that we do for our tests so let us discuss these five uh, methods right now and I think that will be enough uh, to understand the navigation class. So the first method is the back button back uh, method. This method uh, gives you the functionality of back button on a browser. Now, if I open a browser, I let me open the browser. If I let's say if I open the IE browser, so the dot back method gives you the functionality of this back button. Now uh, we have navigation dot forward. It gives you the forward button functionality. We have navigation to re navigation dot refresh, which refreshes the pages. And then we have navigation dot two. Uh, this two method comes in two flavors. Uh, the first one takes the string. The string is the URL, and the second one takes the URL object. Now URL object is a standard Java uh, class, which has uh, which defines a URL. Uh, a universal resource locator so this you can use this class and create uh, a URL and then pass that class to your navigation object and it will browse uh, it will use that as the reference point so you, you can learn more about uh, the URL class by looking into the Java Docs of java.net.url namespace and you, you will get more information around it now let us try to uh, let, let us try to see how we can use this class so uh, I have set up a basic selenium project where I have added all my Java files now I have created a Firefox driver instance this is Firefox uh, driver driver this is a new Firefox driver now using this instance you can get um, the navigate object navigation object by a simple method in the driver class which is driver.navigate this method returns a navigation object as we can see uh, in the description of the method it says that it returns a navigation object now once I get a navigation object I can perform these uh, actions on it so let us first perform uh, a simple simple action um, to navigate to a URL. Well, I'm performing uh, the last action in the sequence first because uh, this is the very basic step. We have to navigate to a place, to a, to a web page, in order to explain the other methods. So let us see how it works. I have uh, used the two method of navigation class, and I have passed on the URL. So if I run it, it should open the web browser. Uh, the Firefox browser using because of this statement and once it has opened the Firefox uh, browser it passes the navigator object to us and we tell the navigator object to browse to the yahoo.com page let's see so the browser instance opens up and it takes you to the yahoo.com page So, so this is an alternative to your uh, typical web uh, webdriver.get method. So usually, how do we navigate? We we say that okay, I I have my driver and I say that I will do a get on it. 
and get and pass the URL and it takes me to that particular web page. Now we have an alternative, we can ask the navigator object to do this for us. Similarly, we have this uh, method called navigator.back. Back. What it does, navigator.back. What it does, it presses the back button. Let's see how it does that. If we run it, it will open the browser, it will navigate to yahoo.com page and will then click the back button. There you are. It takes you to the yahoo.com page. And once the page is loaded, it clicks on the back button. Well, in this case, the back button is disabled. That's why it won't be able to click on it. And the tests, test, uh, well, yeah, the back button is already disabled. So it doesn't click on it. So what we have to do is we have to navigate to two different pages and then we can actually use this functionality. So I will say I will first open the yahoo.com page and after that I will open the gmail.com page. Let us close the existing browsers. Let's check this out and let's restart it. There you go. It takes you to the yahoo.com page first, then it will take you to the ge the google.com page and then it will push the back button. Look, it has taken you to the google page. Now it has clicked on the back button and we are back on the yahoo web page. So this, this back functionality is available with the uh, with the driver also let me just check uh, it's no, no, it's not available with the browser uh, web driver i saw it somewhere yeah. um, it's not available with the driver so all you have to do is uh, i think it is available like this navigate dot navigate dot back button so using the driver and writing this statement you are essentially doing the same thing so what it does it, it when you say driver.navigate it returns the navigation object and then it clicks on the back button on it now we have explicitly taken the navigation object in a variable here and then we have clicked on the back button now similarly we can also see that we have a forward forward button uh, back first we will do a back and then we will do a navigator, navigator dot forward and we will see that it will first click on back then click on forward and then let us uh, understand the last command also then it will refresh the page navigator dot refresh simple like that so if i run this project uh, this uh, code it, it will first navigate to yahoo.com page then gmail.com then it will go back which will take us back to the yahoo page and then it will forward which will again take us to the gmail page and it will then refresh the page let's see We'll open the browser and you can see that it will take you to the yahoo.com page and from the yahoo.com page to the gmail page and from the gmail page back to the yahoo.com page and then it will again take us to the gmail page and then it will refresh so so as you can see we have just performed all these actions using the navigator object uh, 
and that's it for uh, this tutorial i hope you got something uh, more interesting about the navigation object and i hope you use it in your test code uh, if you have any feedback on the tutorial uh, let let us know by writing down your comments below the tutorial in the comment section and we will work upon it thank you very much